What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Fortnite First. As you guys know, the Pro-Am is going down right now. And what we have for you in this video is one of the crazy clutches we have ever seen out of Ghost Aiden. He even ends up in a crazy 1v1 with Nick A30 and absolutely destroys YouTube's Golden Boy. And he really comes in hot for the controller game. Now, before I let the VOD footage play out for you guys, I just want to say, comment down below, PC or controller, which gang are you in? And make sure you drop a like on the video if you do enjoy now if you guys like fortnite drama news tournament coverage highlights we do it all here at fortnite first so make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications we do give away a thousand v bucks every single video to the noti gang and we're also really close to 40,000 subs with all that being said man enjoy the video and i'll catch you in the next upload we'll probably have one or two more videos out tonight just depends on what goes down in this pro-am so yeah enjoy the video right let's at least make it into that top 15 first then I'll look to pick up Elims. You know, people are not going to really be paying attention to a single player if he's playing it right, playing it slow, playing it a little bit uh, sneaky. But I mean, there's still quite a number of big names left in the lobby. Aiden, Lemix, Patriota, Nick A30, Cloak, KU, Lachlan, Bruce Brown, just to name a few, Nick Merckx as well. That's right, and don't forget, guys, if you see something you like, make sure you guys use that hashtag, Summer Block Party. And hit us up on C uh, social media, guys. We love to see the clips and those interactions. I'll be sharing everything that comes my way. But is, we saw some players hiding. It was Scarlet. He's in the field. And maybe turn cloak now. They're sending off some fire shots here. Jacob is sitting in the dynamite. Nice little window play here. He's got that right camera peek. Is he going to be able to find the opportunity? There's one. Well, just kind of putting in some pressure. Their team was ready. They heard. They, you know, if you're if you're playing Fortnite for any extended period of time, you know what that Ooh. distinct dynamite sound sounds like. 70 over onto that player, though. That was a blue number. So the question is, how much shield do they have left? Were they on 100? Were they less? Jacob, he, he already knows. He hit the dynamite, so he's going in right here. Look at. He's just trying to get this shot, Whoa. and that's one. Great shot on Douglas. He took the wall so quick. Now look at this, someone else trying to build above him, and Jacob is saying, look, let's, there's someone trying to aggress. We've got to build, We've got to make sure we can get around him, but do it in a good way to make sure we get this next rotation safe. And look at this, Jacob's like, look, we got to start making our way over. Come on, make your way over to me. The power, though. He's in a tough spot right now. Yeah, but I love it. They just counted it out as a huge victory for them, right? Just, you know what? We got the Elim. Just got to back out of here now. Bye-bye to your teammate. Get some fresh loot. And they're off. To, they're off. They're going to get the next zone. And Flake, man, if he gets too aggressive, you got to understand this guy already took care of your teammate. Oh, that's what happens. Jacob says, oh, you didn't forget about you, buddy. Thanks for coming this way and <laughs> takes him right out the game. So while Connor's in here like, all right, you know, we should probably make, you know, make this rotation, his duo partner's like, I've been, I've been watching this guy. All right, yeah, no, he's like, listen, like, yeah, yeah, we'll make the rotation, sure. Ah, he walked here, check it out. Over with Kurt. He's waiting, biting. They've got a launch pad when they need to bail. Looks like Kurt also had that RPG in hand. Look at the loadout coming in right now. Ooh, I like it, I like it. And they're in the current safe zone. Feeling pretty good. And, and I love this right here. Ewok rocking that Falcon jersey to represent her, her teammate. Kurt Ben Kurt was on the Falcons. That's pretty cool right there. A little bit of extra love right there. You can see she's throwing out a couple pings right here, trying to communicate with their duo. For an opportunity here. I like that Ewok is pre-editing things. She's waiting. She's not confirming it. She's saying, if we need to bail, I've got the, the editing ready. Here we go. Launch pad comes out. That's the kind of thing, those little things are going to help you level up your gameplay when you're playing Fortnite. And now here we go. Ewok looking to get aggressive. I mean, look, we know Ewok is insane. She's about to show you guys why. Someone's letting out some shots. Her teammate is split up. What's she going to do? She's got to back him up here. Look at the thought process there as well. We know shots are coming in. And instead of her trying to figure out where the player is going, she's trying to reinforce their move, making sure this is as stable as possible. You hear explosions. She's going to pass over some half shields here, the, some of the minis, excuse me. And now this is where things, it was good too. It's they're in the next safe zone. There's, oh gosh, Nick A30 is here. Is, Oh, it's Nick who's bothering them over in the box. Oh, goodness. Okay, this is going to be a good battle here, Zeke. We might see unfold in just a bit. Ewok messing with a couple edits, trying to decide. She's 
gonna want to be. Got another see minute. a couple of fun facts about the player Cam. Ewok, a 13-year-old streamer, and you're the youngest Fortnite player here at the uh, Pro-Am. So, the youngest competitor we can see here. And, oh! Oh. Nick wins the exchange right the there. Back. It was very close, but Kurt, you got to do something. You got to go quick. Start applying pressure. He's trying. He's trying. Oh, so close. Kurt Ben Kurt almost won the exchange right there, but Nick was just a little faster on the draw. Beat Ewok to the wall and punished in those moments. Nick had a fantastic last game. Was only shut down because he didn't have materials. You guys tuned in a little late, but he made it all the way through to end game. And now look, they have four eliminations ready. Don't forget, they're also in the top 10, like literally on the leaderboards, the standing. So, showing you guys why. So take a look at Tifus. Kind of trailing behind, no eliminations. If you've been watching Nova Qualifiers, you know this is classic Tifu. He's, he's got an abundance of material, sitting on a nice little perch with a bird's eye view, waiting for enemies to make a mistake. He is so good at capitalizing on any little error that enemy players make. If they make a wrong edit, if they make a wrong build, a wrong rotation, he is always in the right place, in the right mindset to take advantage of that. Josh Hart and him are gonna begin their rotations there. Now, I always say this, don't forget, top 15 is the, the first round of placing points. We need another seven duels to fall before those points come out. Jordan Jones and Gotaga going to be picked up there in the elimination and look at this next half in, half out, man. That circle is, is dangerous. It's better than going south, though, because at least they're going to stay on the land. So True. you got to count your small blessings while you can right there. Now another look here. Tifu always got those <laughs> front row tickets. He's always he just, he just hit the <laughs> like, I'm sitting up on this perch. I'll tell you what, let's come over here and build a new perch. This is my home. Chris Thompson's got that minigun. He doesn't have a lot of ammunition. He's actually really hurting here. Fortnite term, we like to call this shambles. He is in shambles. They want elimination. They need something. Because, like you said, man, they've got basically nothing to work with. Now, he's probably calling out this enemy team here in front. You gotta think Dank Ops is probably up on that high ground just above him. Just getting a nice little, uh, surveilling the land. You know, who do I think I see? I recognize these types of builds. He's just looking all around. He's like, oh no, slips out oh, the build. Oh no! Took some fall damage right there. Gave him a little too much pressure. He's trying to sneak underneath those builds. <laughs> He's looking at his team and like, man, yeah. I'm so sorry, dude. He was, he was maybe a little too focused up on what the task uh, at hand, you know, what was in front of him. Look at this, Aiden. He's ready, man. He's swooping in like an eagle, just taking away the high ground from everyone else. Aiden is our number one elimination leader in this current round so far, guys. He's at five elims. Oh. That's a storm flip. It's pushing him way up top. This, this is scary because the higher he goes, the you know more unsafe it becomes if it's not held up by too much. He's got to be real careful. They, they don't seem to be in any danger right now, which is he's really got, good. He's got a rift. You know, making the quick rift play as you're falling Pretty tough. Nick Merckx, though, going to be picked up by Connor Bell and Jacob and shut out of the lobby, especially at a top 15. You hate to see it. More eliminations coming in. Josh Hart as well goes down to power. And look at this. Aiden finds Patriota. Dude, I see Bucky all in the Elam feed as well right now. So Bucky looks like he's having a great game. Out comes the Rift to go. Oh, it's time to rotate. Lachlan picks up Cloaksy. Wow. And look at this, Lupo finding more eliminations as well. Here's the focus. Aiden says, yay. Just a little bit of a high ground right there. Maybe we want to snatch this up. It is in the zone. He does have material to hold it as well. Nick A30 still in the game. You see down there, Symphony as well. So many players still alive. Tifu still in this game. He's got a baller. He's jumping in and out that vehicle. Aiden lands right on top of Power and wins the exchange. Down goes Power, it's his high ground now. You can see Lost King lands right inside with his duo. Kind of finishes him up. So Aiden is doing so good right now because they have seven eliminations now. Man, Rob is doing so good working with Aiden, you know. When we talked with him in the player lounge, he's like, look, look, I know Aiden. I know Aiden's very good. Whatever he does, I'm just gonna follow, right? And you can see right. they're, they're playing so well together. Whatever Aiden calls, Rob is ready to follow up on this and back him up. Ooh, that's that's right oh, there. it's oh. Nick! Another knock, Zeke. 
That's it. He's gone. He's been eliminated. That duo is out, especially at the top five, but it's okay. Look how many big names are still left. Bucky, KU, Tifu, Rob from Lock King goes down. Aiden's got to respond fast. He's got to do something. Yes, he's in this game right now to win it, and he just took out another player. Aiden is on it, and he's got the high ground. Tifu goes down to Bucky for KU in there. KU's still in this game. It's a 1v1 now. Bye bye, KU. This is Aiden versus Bucky 2. World Cup qualifiers going toe to toe right here. What's he going to do? This is like a little bit of a playground battle. He's holding that high ground. You know what's a nice little one, twos? He does have 700 materials as well. Still, no cartwheel, you know, showing him that he's here. <laughs> Aiden here, he wants this. He's so hungry for this extra points coming out. He goes, oh, he gets so cheeky. The shot missed, but it's okay. Right now, Aiden's got health advantage. Bucky's is about on 100, okay, excuse me, 85 effective HP. He wants this, look at this. Aiden's just supplying pressure. Oh, tries to go oh, high ground. This might have been a mistake. This is Aiden, we're talking about more damage over on the shields. Bucky's down to nothing, and Aiden! So close in the final moments. Bucky, with all that pressure on his shoulder, could not handle Aiden, who was stone cold. We saw a little cartwheel there. He's kind of saying, hey, listen, this is nothing. I got this high ground. He felt really good about it. Ice in the veins. Let's take a look at that again. And just look at Aiden. He is so ready to isolate Bucky. Everything he's doing is forcing Bucky here to make a mistake. And in the end, Aiden capitalizes, forcing him out of the storm, and it's enough to close it all out. I mean, the crazy part is, this is just like a little taste of what the World Cup is going to be like, because the skill is real, the energy is real, loving the crew.